Good morning, privateer FX fans and fanatics, lovers of the foreign exchange. Tricky day yesterday. Uh, we had our couple of themes out there. We tried to be short euro sterling, long euros, and long CAD yen. CAD yen's worked out. Um, that's fine. We went up to 12 today. It was a slow burn. Um, 12 matches up the high with the high from um, the 25th of May. If we do get more risk on, or if oil does change direction and start going higher, this could be a runner. Otherwise, uh, we effectively were long cable, short euro sterling, long euros, uh, and you can see cable just went kind of straight down. We were looking good up there when we were at 134, the figure. Um, you know, but we just scratched it. I mean, we were, our average was 44. We probably should have just taken some profits up there, but we didn't. And say la vie. But you look at this bar here and you go, wow, cable looks like we ran out of juice there. You can see why the whole market got long cable, this weekly bar here. Uh, from last week still on a weekly setup we've made a new higher high but it's so early in the week you can't really trade it the risk rewards upside down so just gotta be patient we're gonna put cable down today today we're looking at uh, the Swiss franc we got dollar Swiss here which everyone knows we hate trading but we have this sort of little inverted head and shoulders here 98.95 it's at 90 now matches up quite nicely with this euro swiss this horizontal here at 75 115.75 sterling swiss is not in play but we um, we're long some euro swiss we're long some dollar swiss we think this is going to go higher mainly just because of the charts we have no idea why this might happen dollar yen's interesting we printed 110 basically twice already once last night um, there'll be some stops above 110 for whatever that's worth I'm not sure this is uh, some amazing uh, momentum style long but dollar yen looks pretty healthy so, go to stocks, they're really just doing nothing, and, and we just kind of need to put this week in context. We have ECB and Federal Reserve next week. Uh, Fed's obviously expected to raise. ECB will be very, very interesting to see if he has a hawkish bias, which he should have, based on higher inflation. Or he has a dovish or neutral bias because he's terrified about his home country of Italy um, spoiling the Euro party. This will be very interesting and create a lot of volatility next week. But just again, to put it into context, we have these two massive foreign exchange risk events next week. We have a pretty sort of, I would say, tired market, or not really tired, I, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, a market that just doesn't really have much energy right now. So, take the cable yesterday, and this was my error. Um, this is the kind of week where you marry nothing, you smash and grab, you just take your pips. Um, new trends are unlikely to begin this week. And even if they do begin, you're probably going to have to trim it or cut it going into um, going into the ECB and FOMC next week. So guys are going to wait, uh, and the big hammers out there are going to wait, and they're just lurking in the bushes. So let's just lurk with them. There's no reason to hunt for big kill, for big game out here. Uh, smash and grab this week, and this is what we'll be doing for the rest of the week. Your dollar Swiss and Euro Swiss today included. So, core short Swissy against Euros and dollars. That's our morning play. And the rest of the world looks, you know, just pretty quiet. 
S&P is up at 27.43. They're at the highs, but they have absolutely no energy, no trade there. Uh, Bitcoin, 7,400. Just the last seven days, no energy. If you own the 7,200s, you can just hang on to those. It's fine. We're going to be 62 and 52 and 42, as we always are, um, buying dips on Bitcoin. Uh, EMS. Uh, Emerging is mid-range, just kind of shitty. Dollar Max is broken out, but nothing to do here in in, uh, in Europe with Dollar Max. You could argue Dollar Max is a buy back towards 2005, but we're not doing much there. Dollar Turkey, we are not touching, um, and you know that's about it, right? I mean. This is an interesting trend line in dollar CAD, and 129 the figure is an interesting pivot from yesterday, but that's a mid-range pivot. So, anyway, to sum it up, uh, we're just going to focus on the Swiss franc here, and I just want to remind everybody: the big risk is next week. Grab your pips this week, build yourself a little bit of a cushion. It's beginning of the month as well. Why not? And. Uh, that way we can be more front foot and attack these big volatility days with some cash in our pocket. Good luck out there, people. Uh, I will see you at the New York Open. Bye.